What's up, barbecue fans? Welcome back to the patio. My name's Jake, you're watching Roma Cook. Today on the channel, we're talking about gadgets. More specifically, we're going over ways to light your Komodo grill. Now, I had a Komodo Joe for three years. I've had my Komodo Komodo for two years. I have hundreds of cooks now, and I've used all these methods. So there's some pros and cons of them. We're gonna make it simple. I'm gonna go over the cost, the ease of use, the length of time it takes to get things started, and the fun factor. So let's break each one of these down and see how they stack up. Option number one, you guys have seen me talk about these many times. That's the Komodo Joe fire starters. Now, these guys are just wax squares. You can see them here. Super easy to use. You just light them up and away you go. They burn cleanly. Now, Weber has a cube. Komodo Joe's got squares. Fogo's got uh, tumbleweeds. There's a couple other variations out there. We'll group them all together. They all work the same way light them up and walk away and away you go. I've been using these for five years since I started. I still use them today. They work very well. And from a cost perspective, they score very, very well. So one box of these, $8. You can get a two pack. I'll put a link down below. And you know, from a cost perspective, there's no complaints there. From a ease of use perspective, can you light a lighter? I can't light a lighter because of the wind. There we go. But if you can light a lighter, you can light one of these. Now, how I use these is under 300 degrees, one in the center, light it, walk away. If I'm gonna go over 300, I'm gonna use two of them. I'm gonna put them in two different spots so I can get more lump burning. And that just helps you achieve those higher temperatures. But from an ease of use perspective, they score well again. From the time to get them started, uh, that's where we start to have some issues. So it really doesn't matter uh, too much if you're using one or two, because if you're using two, you're trying to get those higher temperatures, but you're gonna really wait about seven to 15 minutes, depending on what you're trying to do, before you can close it up and then you still keep your vents open and you still gotta go a ways to get your, your grill preheated. So they take a little bit of time. Now, on the weekends, it's really not that big a deal. You go inside, you get a beer, maybe grab a rum and coke like me, uh, but you do have a little bit of time to wait and these guys are the slowest out of all four. When it comes to fun, well, not very much fun. <laughs> so again, from a fun score, these guys don't score very well. There's not much to them. They're super easy to use. You light them, you walk away. Option number two is gonna look a little weird. Bear with me for a second. We've got a torch, we've got a leaf blower, and we've got a hammer. Now why do we have three things? Well, all we do is large lump is harder to get started. So if you take a hammer, you break some smaller pieces in, then you can light your torch, get it going, light a little small area, and then you use your leaf blower and stoke that fire. Now, whatever you do, you don't want a leaf blower that has an on and off switch. You want a variable trigger or you're gonna be covered in ash and no one wants that. Let's talk about cost real quickly. Um, I'm gonna assume, you know what they say about people that assume, but I'm gonna assume that you've got a leaf blower. Um, if you don't have a leaf blower, this is going to be a lot more expensive. Um, but we'll assume that you have that. Some guys that are using this method, they bought one of the little Milwaukee uh, small ones. Those things are like $249. They are pricey. It's going to throw this price right up. Um, but I'm going to assume that you have one of these. And the torch, maybe not. So, you know, the cost is going to go up because you don't have a torch. Um, so we'll increase our cost a little bit. I'm assuming you've got a hammer. Now, I don't do manual labor for the most part. I got a hammer, so I'm assuming you've got a hammer. Um, so from a cost perspective, we're definitely uh, a step up from our cubes, but as long as you don't have to buy one of these, not, not crazy. Now, ease of use, well, it's fairly easy to use, right? Everyone knows how to use a hammer, uh, but it is a couple more steps right, because you've got to break down, you probably want to hold it, you're going to put some gloves on, you're going to break down some uh, lump into some smaller pieces that you can get lit, then you're going to light it, and you've got to get this. Um, so ease of use is definitely a step up, uh, a little bit more difficult than the cubes. 
when we go into length of time to get started, this one's pretty darn quickly. That's where we really start to see some of the benefit. I mean, there is a little bit of prep time, but when you get your leaf blower going, I mean, nice constant little bit of air there. I mean, she's going pretty quickly. So, you know, there are some definite benefits to this. Uh, fun factor, well, we got a bigger flame than our lighter. Get to play with the torch. Definitely, definitely a step up. Um, you know, it's, I don't know, leaf blower. If you just did your lawn that day, this is probably the last thing you want to use. So you get penalized there, but I, I definitely think that there is a little bit of a fun factor here. Uh, it's kind of like building a fire. Option number three, if you've been watching for a while, you've seen this guy before. This is the Loof Lighter X. I did an unboxing video of this a couple of months ago. If you're new here, thanks for watching. Welcome. If you're liking what you're seeing, please subscribe below, support the channel. Uh, but you know, I did an unboxing video of it. This is Gen 2. And in the unboxing video, that's the first time I opened it and used it, and we had some great results. Uh, the only issue we had is a little bit of sparking. Unfortunately, it comes with the territory, right? You're blowing a very condensed beam of air at it, and you're gonna have a little bit of sparking. Um, but it, it worked well and delivered as promised. I was, I was pretty impressed with it. You know, I bought this because I get home later and I wanna be able to use my Kamado grill during the week because it co cooks some great food. If I was home an hour earlier, it wouldn't be a big deal, but I was looking for a way to uh, light my, my grill quicker, so I picked this guy up. Let's get into cost. Cost, this is the most expensive out of all four. Um, this guy's $299. If you, they have a corded version, I didn't want to have to get an extension cord to start my grill, but that's only about 80 bucks. Um, so I went with the wireless. It is pricey. Definitely, there's no doubt about it. It's brand new. I'm sure the cost will come down. There's R&D. It's been out for a year or something like that. You've got a battery. You've got a charge base. So it's got some, some pieces to it that make it more expensive. Um, ease of use, this thing's super easy to use. It's really got three buttons. You've got a power button that you can't see inside. It's right in the handle. You've got a start button here, and then you've got a blower button here. When you click the start button, you have to touch it to lump, and then the heating element starts up and the fan blows really slowly. The fan slowly ramps up, and then you start to pull it away after it's burning, and then it goes to high mode, and now you use this just to stoke the fire. Now, if you're using briquettes or something like that, they're gonna light really quickly, so you can actually stop the sequence and just go right to blower mode and um, you know, stoke the fire that way. So, super easy to use. Obviously, you just put it in the base and charge it, plug it in, and you're good. So, from an ease of use perspective, no complaints. If we look at the start time on this, that's where we're running into some issues. So, you know, there's some caveats here. If you're using this to start your fire, I've used it lots to start my fire, it works great. If you're using this to start briquettes, works great. If you're using this to start lump, which most of us in this community, we're using lump, then we run into some challenges, right? When I use this for my unboxing video, we were near the end of a bag and I had a bunch of small chips and this worked great. If you're using a newer bag and you're using large chunks, this doesn't work as well, right? Because what happens is we get a little small area lit and you're blowing on it, but none of the other charcoal around it is getting started. So you've got to move around your charcoal to touch it and help spread the fire. Um, and it takes some extra effort. Now, what you could do is you could get out your trusty hammer again and break some pieces off and then this would work great. Uh, but, you know, I'm not buying this so that I can use a hammer. I already had that method. Uh, and, you know, most of, most of the lump I'm using is larger pieces. Uh, the other issue is that this is advertised to work 10 times between charges. That is only the case if you're using briquettes. The light quick, you stop the sequence and, and you use the, uh, the blower, right? This guy when it heats up that takes a lot of juice to get that heated up um, if it's a blower it doesn't take as much battery but you know if you're using the full sequence which is two minutes this is only going to go for about two minutes or two times 
and then you're gonna have to charge it again. So that was very disappointing to learn. Um, you know, as you get used to it and you use it a little bit more, you can stop the sequence and use the blower and you can probably get four, maybe five uses out of it, but you're not getting 10, right? If you're using lump charcoal, it's, it's just not gonna happen. So you're gonna have to charge this more than I expected. Um, but, you know, the length of time, if you spend a little bit, bit of prep time, this works great, it lights very quickly but I didn't buy it, so I had to spend extra prep time. I wanted something that was gonna use quick, so this does get penalized a little bit there. Uh, fun factor, eh, it's a step up from a lighter, not as cool as a torch, so you know we'll give it a little bit of a leg up, uh, but it's nothing spectacular, there's not, not a lot of fun factor there. I did not wanna get this guy. In fact, I swore I was not gonna get one of these. You know, I've been looking at these for many months. They're on a bunch of YouTube channels. They're all over Instagram. And I just was not gonna get one. The main reason is I just, I didn't wanna deal with propane, right? I spent a whole bunch of money to get natural gas put in for this grill. And I just, I didn't feel like dealing with propane just to start <laughs> my grill. Um, but lo and behold, about a month ago, I looked on the website maybe eight or 10 times over the course of a few weeks. And finally I was just like, Ugh. all right, pull the trigger. So I did, let's get into cost. Cost wise, you know, this guy's for the kit that I got is a buck 88 and that comes with a stand the uh the longer gun and it has a hose you can hook up to a 20 pound tank now i do have 20 pound tanks um, i have two patio heaters that have those tanks so the hose is going to be useful for that i just happen to have a couple one pound tanks but i don't think i'm going to keep buying these I, I just i don't want to deal with having to dispose of them but you know 188 bucks so this is the second most expensive uh, it's not cheap by any means uh, let's talk about ease of use. We screw it on to whatever fuel source you're using, a one pound or the 20 pound. You turn your little dial here, squeeze the trigger, you light it, pretty darn easy. When you wanna fire your grill up, you turn on flamethrower mode and away you go. Super easy to use. Uh, you know, no problems with there. It's, it's, it's actually extremely easy to use. Um, if we get into length of time to get your grill up to speed, she's a winner. <laughs> I mean, you've got this big flame. You just fired at your, your grill or your lump and away you go. I mean, you can get your grill started super, super quickly. Um, uh, you know, you've got to be careful. I've talked in my, uh, 20 or 12, 20. 12 mistakes that Kamado grill owners make. Um, you know, you don't want to over get your, your, your grill up the temperature too fast, especially in the, uh, the winter. So you've got to be careful with it, but you can get your grill up to speed super quick. This is, this is the winner by far uh, in, in that aspect. And I mean, if we get down to the whole fun factor, well, I mean, come on. <laughs> Who doesn't want... I've got a big, a big torch to use. What's not fun about that? I mean, this, this wins fun factor hands down. Um, so, you know, it's definitely, it's got some, some great benefits and uh, some, some huge pluses to it. Where does that leave us? We start with four, we've got to dwindle them down. Now the first one for me is pretty easy. And that is this mess here of three different things I need to start my grill. Now, it works very quick. I do like that about it. Um, it's not super expensive, but I don't wanna have to get out gloves and get out a hammer and make sure that my battery's charged on my blower, make sure I got fuel for this. I mean, there's just too many variables here for me to enjoy this process. That one's gotta go. And then there were three. So the second one that's gotta go, I had high expectations for, but unfortunately, the Loof Lighter X is the next one to get cut. Now, this product works well in several areas. Um, you know, if I'm gonna use it to light my fire pit, it works awesome. It really does work well. Um, but I use lump that is large, right? Um, and this just doesn't work well on large chunks of lump. 
if you get a hammer and you break it down a little bit, no problem. It works great and you can get your fire lit very quickly. Uh, but for me, I'm not looking to do that extra step. You know, I didn't buy it to have to do that step. Um, I was also, you know, disappointed with the battery life of it. It's not as advertised. You know, you can say that it's the it last 10 charges, but it doesn't really. If you use the cycle and you're, lar you're uh, lighting larger lump, you know, if you're gonna use briquettes, then yeah, you'll get your 10 charges out of it. But, you know, not that it's a big deal, but if I've got to charge this every two or three times, I've got to remember if I charge the last time, then I might as well charge it every time. And it's just, that's a pain. I didn't buy a cordless thing that I've got to charge every time before I use it. So for those reasons, it's got to go. And then there were two. So this is where we end in a toss up, right? There are going to be some of you that are going to be perfectly fine with these. Uh, the cost of these over the long term is far cheaper than anything else. They work great. They're no hassle to use. Um, you know, when you buy this, this is expensive to buy, and then you've got to continuously buy propane for it. So this is going to cost you a lot more money in the long run. Uh, there are some of you that are going to be like me that don't want to mess with propane. Maybe you just can't justify the cost of this. So I think that this is a, a perfectly viable solution for you. Um, it just takes a little bit more time. Obviously, uh, you know, I still have these and I'm going to, I'm going to keep using them. It's not like I'm never going to, I'm just going to throw them out or whatever. They, they work well. There are times on the weekends where I don't care if it takes 15 minutes to get going. Right. Um, it's also good backup if I'm out of propane for whatever reason. But I think that, you know, these two are some great choices for you. Uh, I think it's going to be up to you individually on which one is better for you. I think it's really, it's a, it's a toss up. Um, so I'm not going to eliminate either or, but I'm going to give you the two options that I think are the best for you to pursue and let you make a decision for yourself. So hopefully you got some value out of this video. Hopefully you learned something. Uh, if you're not subscribed yet again, please do so below. I appreciate you supporting the channel. Um, Nothing left to say. Check out a couple of these videos, a couple other videos that we've done. We've got lots more coming. And as always, I'll see you again soon.